Welcome back to another video. I've got crazy sun right now. I can't even see myself in the viewfinder. It's, it's good. I don't want to see myself anyway. I'll get scared. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out today chasing walleye again. No, I'm tired of walleye. I need a little bit of a change. Perch. Hopefully some jumbo perch. Thinking like some 20 to 24 inch perch. You know, the unicorn of the unicorns of the unicorns. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to pop some holes behind me. I think I'm going to do like a double hole system right now. Maybe like a rattle bait in one hole and then some kind of uh, sleeker presentation like a tungsten jig or maybe a little spoon, something like that, tip with the mealworm and see what we can put on the ice. It, the forecast is supposed to get a little bit windy, so if it does, I'll probably pop up the otter. But for now, I want to take advantage of this glorious sun-filled day and catch some perch outside. Oh, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he charged it, he charged it. Oh, he, he had it in his mouth for a second. Oh, come on, he's charging it. Come on, come on, come on. He's on my jig, he's on the jig. Come on, you, eat it. Look, I can get him off the bottom, come on. Back down, big mark too, it looks like. I know nothing about perch fishing, or just wait, I know very little about perch fishing. I do this like two, three times a season usually, I'll chase perch. I'm gonna do more this year though, I'm gonna do some underwater stuff eventually somewhere too. Here it's just too cloudy to be able to do it. Oh, coming up maybe. See if I rip that rattle bait a few times again too. That rattle bait seems to call them in on this big mud flat. I'm sure I'll catch them on it too at some point, but the little jig is what I have the most confidence in right now for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good mark, come on. Oh yeah, oh he touched it, he just tapped it, come on. Here he comes, come on. Yes, perch on. Perch on! First one of the day. It's not big, but uh, it's definitely a start. I caught a perch. Perch, perch, perch. I've been perch fishing for like almost a year already. A year, I do hardly any of it in the summertime. That's what we're chasing. Look at those things. I like to see you in about a size 14. You'll be a jumbo football. Beautiful. Okay. So I'm using here a little tiny five millimeter frostbite jig with a little, uh, it's called an ice mite maybe. I'll put the name of it right, right here. I'm gonna put a little mealworm on it there as well. A little flavor, flavor. Oh, we got more marks down there. I should get down there. And like I said, the intro I was gonna be doing I have a rattle bait in this hole. That's just as if I'm not marking fish. I'm gonna pump it every once in a while. And just to, maybe if there's some fish in the area, to get them over here. Oh, we got marks down there. Gotta get down there, down there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Good marks, come on. Come on. Come on now. Oh yeah, instant. Drop right on his face. Drop right on his face. Right on his face. Come on, get out of that. This one feels a little bit better. Might be wrapped up in my rattle bait rod though too. Nope. Oh yeah, his is definitely a little bit better for sure. A little bit better. Oh, yes. Easy. Easy. We'll get you out. Just hardly hooked in that lip. That's a little bit more what we're going to be after today. Look at that one right there. It's like a, an 11 incher probably. But we went bigger. We went bigger. Drop that one right in his face. Well, it's not marking any fish here, so let's drop down the rattle bait again and see if we can draw some over. I'm fishing like this giant, giant mud flat. Like, there's no 
there's no structure there's nothing that stands out and it's like these fish just cruise around literally eating freshwater shrimp and insects and whatever off the bottom and like i said they'll just they'll literally cruise around this whole mud flat so it's like if they're 30 40 feet away from you you can draw something you know or drop something down to draw them in maybe you won't catch them with that bait but at least you could get them over and interested in what else you're using it's just an idea just a theory it doesn't mean it's uh the optimal thing to do or you know obviously probably like the best thing to do right now would be to stay super mobile and just literally just keep drilling and moving trying to stay on top of the school but as you guys see with all the filming stuff i have it's like it's so tough in that sense like so instead of catching 40 fish right now moving around i'd rather just stay in one spot film something and catch like 10 perch today oh here we go oh yeah 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 come on oh yeah other big markers a school of them oh baby come on it's coming up to the oh there we go there we go there we go oh the fish i got hooked in my rattle bait again it looks like and my transducer oh yeah oh, that's awesome what do we got oh that's big perch oh, oh, oh look at the dinner plates that is unreal oh 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 a double header double double that was on the on the rattle bait that was just sitting there look at that <laughs> <laughs> that's sick the rattle bait was being dead stick that one's smaller than this one we'll get them that one back and look at that double header baby so good <laughs> that one's a smaller one i released it i want to get a quick measure on this one and see what it does that was so cool i didn't know what was going on there <laughs> it was insane oh baby 13 13 incher jumbo Raise that perky fin for me, baby. Awesome. <laughs> Double header. So it turns out uh, dead sticking uh, rattle bait uh, is a thing. That was so cool. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, am I tangled in there all of a sudden? I was like, no, that's another fish. Double header, baby. Double header. So cool. Okay. Drop back down there. 13 incher. Jumbo, we're getting there, we're getting there. That's considered a, a jumbo perch. 13 inches in my books is a jumbo. Slob, dinner plates, what else you guys call them? Slabs, prairie gold, just goodness. Goodness. There we go, there we go. Awesome, awesome. Can't tell how big yet, but it, oh, it's decent one not a not a jumbo but a decent one right here it's getting a little bit later in the day sun's starting to drop let's get into one of my favorite sayings right prime time prime time come on okay what a probably about an eight nine inch or something like that they're gonna get bigger i can tell Oh, 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 that one charged it. Holy. Come on. I just put my gloves back on. I think just shot straight up. Got him. Got him. Got him. That was insane. Insane. That thing just shot straight up. Of course, I'm wrapped in my dead stick again there. This one feels pretty good. This one feels pretty good. This one got some weight to him. This no slouch right here. Come on. Where are you? I'll talk a little bit about the rod that I'm using. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> Look at that thing. Just a dinner plate, I guess you could call it. And uh, it's a jumbo. Like, that's a big dinner plate. You feed the whole uh, family Thanksgiving dinner with that thing. Holy cow. What a slob. Make sure you get that measuring tape wet. Don't let their skin stick. This thing's gotta be over 13 for sure. You know what? It only just touches 13. Just. What a slob though right there. Awesome fish. 
We don't want to keep it out of the water very long. It's starting to get a little bit chilly out here. Deadly, 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 deadly. That thing was like, I just put on my gloves and it just like come straight up at me, drop back down and boom, so good. That was an awesome fish. Two 13 inches today. <laughs> Life is good. Now, obviously I don't catch or even fish for a lot of like perch, right? Like, so maybe 13 inches isn't like a, a real big one, right? Like it is to me, I think the biggest one I've ever caught is 13 and a half inches. But yeah, anyway, I said I wanted to talk a little bit about the rods that I was using when I was fighting that last fish. I'm of course, I'm fishing with the Frostbite series and this one is the Royal Flush. This is the Burnt series. I think I have this on this one's a dipstick. Other, I have another Royal Flush that is actually, I believe the Medallion series. But it's the burnt series it's a 36 light and it appears to be a really good rod for this it's got lots of sensitivity it has a very very good action from what i can tell now i'm not a, a professional pan fish fisherman right like i don't know exactly what i'm looking for i know that this was the rod that was designed for like perch and for crappie as well type of thing and then i have on there i have a five millimeter jig I don't even know what that comes to in terms of weight it's a tungsten jig it's all it's all so new to me i'm getting want to do it more and more obviously a little bit but the walleye is obviously what i have like some of the most experience with for ice fishing and lake trout a little bit as well too and and pike but uh, this panfish could be could be catching for sure i, I want to like i'd like to see like a 14 15 inch perch like those things must be crazy I want to go to Cascade this winter. That's one of my goals is to hopefully get down there at some point. Oh, just drop down, just drop down. Come on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, it's gonna go bonkers here. I can feel it. Three o'clock bites coming around. Come on, come on. Oh, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Come on, yes. Yes. Oh, now my drag's a little too tight, maybe. <laughs> that was crazy. Got that one to lift off the bottom and come up and have a bite to eat. Oh, that's a dinner plate again. <laughs> These things are awesome. Oh, man. Okay, I'm starting to understand why people love perch fishing. Like, it's so dainty and all. Dainty. I don't like dainty fishing for the most part, but look at that thing. That screen lit up. This one chased me. It's like a good 11, 12 inch perch. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Got more marks down there. Got to drop down quick. I switched colors here. This is a little, uh, I don't even know the, the name of this, this jig. It's a frostbite jig, five millimeter jig, um, tungsten. Obviously I don't fish with a lot of small lures, right? So this is all so new to me. And then I'm tipping it with, uh, some mealworms. I've been told mealworms is, is one of the baits the perch love. So yes, tipping her up with some mealworms, dropping it down. I feel like a clumsy, clumsy bear, like when I'm dealing with little small jigs like that and everything, and little tiny eyes to reel into or put the line through. I feel like a clumsy bear. It's like, I'm so used to bigger, bigger lures bigger bigger rods etc feel so clumsy oh oh the bottom's getting active oh here it comes here it comes here it comes come on come on yes 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 come on eat it eat it eat it eat it eat it yes 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 oh baby oh baby okay this is starting to get fun this is starting to get fun not a monster, but it's a definitely nice, respectable fish. Ah, got that one to come right off the bottom, munch it, top of the mouth. Okay. <laughs> Man, like these are like, th that one's not super long, but it's, it's thick, right? Like, they got some, got some heft to them. Heft to them. Mealworms, hey? You like said everything's just so dainty. Dainty. Like this jig, like look how, look how small this jig is and compared to my thumbnail. Like, it's tiny, right? 
five five millimeter, but it's a tungsten, so it's it's more dense obviously than a a lead jig. It falls quick. The fish seem to love it. I'm sure they it doesn't hurt that I've got mealworms on here, right? Like perch, I know is can be a little bit more finicky sometimes in terms of wanting some some kind of bait compared to say i heard like crappies will eat plastics and hair jigs and whatnot and obviously perch will eat other stuff too you saw a perch crush the rattle bait that was just sitting as a dead stick earlier right like they're going to eat artificials too but when i only got just one little afternoon here to come out and try to crush some perch yeah what do i know I know nothing about panfish fishing, like nothing. I do know that life is good. Life is good. You guys, life is good. Oh, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he charged it, we didn't eat it, come on. Come on, he's following it up, come on. Back down, oh, I'm gonna go past him. I'm gonna pound on the bottom and I'm gonna bring it past them again. Hopefully that can trigger, get him to eat. Playing keep away a little bit. You know, these fish are so finicky and it's like these, these prairie reservoir lakes, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, it's like they're so nutrient full. It's like a double-edged sword. It's like, yeah, it grows these perch huge, but at the same time it can make them so finicky because it's like they have all this freshwater shrimp accessible and oh come on eat it and most of the time a fairly easy meal that they can make them just a little bit more picky when it comes come on come on oh are you kidding me how are you not eating it come back come back seal the deal seal the deal i know you want to eat it come on oh here he comes. Come on. That's a good mark. Look at that thick bar. I'm going to go past him. Bang it around a bit on this in the sand. Hopefully in the mud, I should say. Here he comes. Here he comes. He likes when I first lift it, but he loses interest after that. We're going to put it down one more time. And we're going to lift it and pause it. See what happens. Nothing. Come on, you. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's lots down here right now. I make them chase me down. Some competition. Oh, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. He's dogging hard. He's dogging hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, it feels good. It feels good. It feels good. Where are you, baby? Oh, yeah. Not as big as before, but still nice. Nice fish. Oh, that jig popped right out. Nice specimen right there. But I had a couple of their marks down there, so I want to get down there fast. I want to get down there fast. Come on now. I wish I could teach you guys more about this stuff. Like I'm still learning as I'm going too, right? Like there's, there's so much to learn when it comes to fishing. It's literally like an open book that just never ends fishing in general. Like there's always something to learn, whether it's behavior of fish, whether it's patterns, whether where to fish, what to use. You know what I mean? I'm just like right now I'm even talking nonsense. I'm just rambling. But there's so much, like, how do you even hook a mealworm on? <laughs> I don't know. I've been trying a bunch of different things, blobbing them on there right now. Seem to have been probably the best, just throwing on about two or three of them on there. Got Mark down there again. Let's see if I can get down and stick another fish. Well, we're gonna wrap it up with, with that fish. Not a, a smoke show of a day. And, and like I mentioned, I'm trying to teach you guys something, you know, in each video, just something like small, right? Like. Uh, what did I teach you in this video? I, I don't know. I really don't know. It's just kind of me going out fishing and trying something different, right? So I do appreciate all the support lately. The channel is growing quite nice. 
and uh, I appreciate you guys all continuing to watch. And I do want to do some underwater uh, stuff with this perch. Eventually, just this this lake that I'm at today uh, isn't a good choice. So I appreciate everybody watching, you guys, and we'll uh, we'll get out soon here in the near future. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, don't forget get outside.